Hello everyone, this is Divya. Welcome to my channel Banking Goals. In today's video, we are going to see two important topics which are correlated to each other. That is export bill collection and export bill discounting. We have uh, taken this topic in relation to the foreign exchange market as we are continuing the series of foreign exchange market. And this is the 10th part of that series. For the other videos, that is the other 9 parts, you can click in the uh, you can go in the description box you can click on the link and you can watch the previous videos as well to get related with this topic export bill collection now we'll uh, need to understand this process of uh, export bill collection for this topic most importantly in export a person a person of a country exports the goods to other countries uh, you can take it as goods, service or capital or human capital as well. So a person in of one country sells its good to the person of the other country. In these cases, exporter is a person who exports and the importer is who purchases from the exporter. So this is in short the export import process. Now uh, we will consider that we uh, everybody knows what is export and import and in this case uh, the process of bill collection is that the exporter, this is the complete process of export bill collection. Now export bill collection means in, to receive the amount of the export. Now the exporter will send the documents to the overseas bank. Now there are two banks in a process of export. First is the bank of the exporter which is the authorized bank and uh, second or the buyer's bank uh, sorry the authorized bank and second is and second is the overseas bank that is the bank of the importer so in this case the exporter exporter will send the export documents now uh, we have taken the list of export documents that is the commercial invoice packing list certificate of origin bill of lading and quality certificate these are some of the documents which which are sent by the ex exporter to the importer so after the completion of export procedure export process uh, the exporter will send the documents to the overseas bank because the banks are the intermediaries of both the exporter and importer exporter uski bank then the buyer's bank and importer okay exporter this is the authorized bank of the authorized bank of the exporter this is the buyer's bank and then importer this is the sequence or this is the chain of the working of the export and import procedure so the exporter will send the documents through its bank uske bank se overseas bank ko bhejega exporter will send the documents through its authorized bank to the overseas bank these this is the list of the export uh, documents then the overseas bank will make the payment of export invoice. Now export invoice ka payment karenge means the documents receive honge overseas bank ko jo exporter ki bank bhejegi overseas bank ke paas aur overseas bank ye export invoice ka payment karega. Okay. The bank will make the payment and the buyer's bank sorry seller seller's bank. Okay. Seller's bank will send the document uh, will make the payment and thus this authorized bank of the exporter of the seller's bank will credit the amount of the payment to the account of the exporter. So this is the simple procedure. This chain I have explained to you that for a bill collection the exporter will, the send, uh, will send the documents to the overseas bank through its bank and the bank will make payment to the seller's bank and the bank this seller's bank will credit the amount to the exporter's account so ye buyer bank uh, ye uh, buyer's bank kaha se receive karega amount importer se importer uski bank ko denga ye bank exporter ki bank ko dega aur fir exporter ke account mein credit ho jayega uske liye usko pehle documents bhejne padenge to is tarike se export bill collection ka working hai on the other hand export bill discounting abhi discounting ke case mein kya hota hai ki jo exporter hai it will send the documents to the through its authorized bank to the overseas buyer but in this case mein, the, uh, the authorized bank will not wait for the payment to be received from the um, seller or the ex, uh, from the importer and then it will credit to exporter it will not wait for that um, 
दैट प्रोसेस इट विल डायरेक्टली क्रेडिट द अकाउंट टू द एक्सपोर्टर मतलब एक्सपोर्टर डॉक्यूमेंट्स भेजेगा और देगा ऑथोराइज बैंक के पास टू सेंड इट टू ओवरसीज बायर और ओवरसीज बायर्स बैंक और ऑथोराइज बैंक डायरेक्टली बिफोर रिसीविंग द पेमेंट इसको अमाउंट एक्सपोर्टर के अकाउंट में क्रेडिट कर देगा दैट इज एट एट डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस अपना कमीशन काट के After cutting the commission of at a discounted price, the authorized bank will directly make the payment to the exporter. This is bill discounting. So export bill discounting that uh, this in this process the exporter will send a document to the authorized buyer and in return it will make payment to the exporter directly before receiving the payment from the importer. Importer say. ये पूरा प्रोसेस यहाँ तक जाने तक और उसके बाद पूरा रिवर्स होने से पहले ही जब यहाँ उसके बैंक के पास एक्सपोर्टर के बैंक के पास डॉक्यूमेंट जाएंगे तो एक्सपोर्टर का बैंक डायरेक्टली एक्सपोर्टर को अकाउंट अकाउंट में अमाउंट क्रेडिट कर देगा और फिर उसके बाद इट विल बाद में जब उसका ड्यू डेट होगा उसके बाद वो ये बैंक को ये बैंक को डॉक्यूमेंट से फॉरवर्ड कर देगा और उसके बाद उसको अमाउंट वापस मिलेगा उसके पहले ही इट विल क्रेडिट द अमाउंट to the exporter's account so this was uh, regarding export bill collection and export bill discounting as in the previous video there was a mention of these two topics that is why we have taken this uh, we have made this video so that you will get the difference between export bill discounting and export bill collection so there is a basic difference that in in the case of export bill discounting the authorized bank will not wait for the payment to be received from the importer it will first of all make the payment to the exporter and then it will go it will receive the amount from the importer to so simple language mein ki exporter apna documents bhejega bank ke paas khud ke bank ke paas fir wo bank overseas bank ko wo documents forward karenge aur overseas bank importer se paise receive karega and then it will again come back and it will make the payment to authorized bank and authorized bank will make payment to the exporter in the case of export bill collection whereas इन द केस ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट बिल डिस्काउंटिंग बिल डिस्काउंटिंग में क्या होगा एक्सपोर्टर ऑथोराइज बैंक से डॉक्यूमेंट एक्सपोर्टर ऑथोराइज बैंक के पास अपने डॉक्यूमेंट्स देगा एक्सपोर्ट बिल के और उसके बदले में वो उसके अकाउंट में अमाउंट क्रेडिट कर देगा और उसके बाद में वो इम्पोर्टर से अमाउंट रिसीव करते बैठेगा थ्रू द नॉर्मल चेन सो दिस वॉज द बेसिक डिफरेंस सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो डू लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर रेगुलर नोटिफिकेशन एंड शेयर इट विद यर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली थैंक यू सो मच